Now, for those of you who don't know, Gina is married to Morpheus. <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> in this, well, in the, in the verse. In, in, in the verse. In real life. She's married to Morpheus, Lawrence Morpheus. Fishburne. Morpheus, well, no, in the verse, Morpheus is married to Zoe. I mean, you kind yes. of have to, you know, Yeah, right? true, that's true. true. No, that, technically, that okay. is correct. Gina is married to Lawrence Fishburne. Yes. Okay, <laughs> okay. I get it. Right. put it in, in terms. Yes. On Hannibal, yeah. you play husband and wife. We are, for true, yeah. How is that to play husband and wife on a show? Does it likely, you know, see what it's like in real life for Gina and, Tor and, and Lawrence, or? I'm gonna ask you that question. Do you really think <laughs> that it's just a day with the fish burns that you're watching Hannibal? Watching Hannibal and you're thinking, oh, we're just having a night with the fish burns tonight. <laughs> it's a, he's, you know, it's a different cook. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The, the interaction, yeah. the personal interaction. The personal. I look. I will say this, and this is this is truly, truly, truly from the heart. Um, spending time with my husband is always awesome. Um, I adore him. We get along. We're still together. We're you know we, we have a family, and it, and that's a huge blessing. As an actor, to get to play <laughs> with Lawrence Perkins Fishburne. <laughs> As an actor, who doesn't want to do that? Who doesn't want to jump on that opportunity? He is, and I'm not just saying, because he's not here. I mean, you know, what does that do me? Um, <laughs> no, because what I'm about to say, it's like, I don't get brownie points for saying this when he's clearly not here. Um, he is one of the best actors that we have. He is. There's nothing I can do. Um, I mean, there's nothing that man can do, as it's evidenced, you know, I, <laughs> by his work. I mean, he, he, from one extreme to another, he's on television right now, and Jack Crawford on Hannibal, and, you know, Grandpa on Blackish. You are watching Blackish, right? If you're not, start. Um, so, so it's just such a privilege. It was such an incredible privilege to, to have the opportunity to work with him. And then Brian Fuller writes this beautiful arc for me uh, in the part of Bella. It's graceful, um, elegant, tragic part for me. Um, and, and again, that's another honor. So to put the two together, it was, it was great. And we have a great deal of respect for each other as artists. So. Um, as, as sad as the storyline is, we actually, we had a great, great time. And Bella is battling cancer. Yes. And is she returning? Or is... I thought... Can you tell us? I can tell you, I'll tell you this. I thought that at the end of last season, um, I, was, I was a goner. I mean, I was, you know, I mean, it, 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 come on, time you saw Bella, it kind of sounded like this. <laughs> good, it didn't sound good, didn't look good for Bella. And then I got the call. Okay. So I am in the next season. Season yes, three. Yes, I am in season three. All right. Uh, before it still doesn't look good for Bella. <laughs> But I am in season three. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Now, before we open it up, 